who I know is growing older gracefully. And I've chosen you because uh, I've watched you for the past 17 years. And I believe that you are doing something uh, right and something good for you. Now, I'm going to be asking some questions as to, um, but you don't have to be limited to my specific questions about uh, some of the lessons or insights that you find as you grow older, some of the adjustments that you have to make if there are, some losses as well, and um, other things that you are finding out, uh, things like stereotypes that doesn't apply to you, and, and uh, just about general, uh, what you, how you find it. Lessons that I've learned is that I age, partly to appreciate my age. Uh -huh. I'm proud of my age. And the confidence I think aging has given me from the wisdom I've gained through the years, I've learned that nutrition is very important. Mm -hmm. Exercise and a positive attitude. After age 50, um, life change, I started noticing my blood counts were getting different. Now my family has a very good history of long life. Mm -hmm. My aunts, my mother are living into their 90s. But my mother had become diabetic and her quality of life wasn't good. And so when I first saw it, my blood counts changing, I thought, uh oh, this is a precursor to diabetes. It's not going to happen to me. So I became very determined and very interested in good nutrition. It's a big hobby of mine. Mm -hmm. Very big hobby of mine. I exercise several hours a week and just want to enjoy, really enjoy life as I get older. Oh. Um, do you find that you have to give up uh, anything at all? Or is it actually opening up opportunities for you? I can't see that I've given up anything. Well, partly because uh, I'm active as ever mm -hmm. and I'm still working. I'm. Uh, free from child rearing and free to travel, free to spend money on myself, uh -huh, yes. <laughs> and, uh, and 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 become very self-disciplined. Now, I've never been overweight, and I think gaining weight is one of the worst things to your health. Oh. You're talking and, about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People don't want to listen to me. They say I'm an evangelist, and they don't want to change. But I have to be very self-disciplined. But I love myself so much, I don't want to pollute my body and put bad things into it. And I feel so good when I'm active. It just is so rewarding that being very controlled and self-disciplined has such big rewards. Why not? It's worth it to me. So actually, it's more freeing because now you have a lot of other things and you can choose to spend and also in terms of your time and where to put your energy. Let's see some of the things that you do. You've always been a teacher. Yes, I'm still teaching and I find I can still come up with creative ideas. You play music in the, school, in the churches? And I play music in the churches and I'm very involved with serving the churches. So that's kind of a community service and an outreach that I very much enjoy. You still uh, also lead in the chapel services for Yes, us, no? right. And as far as uh, the stereotype things for aging, you know, I get all these lists of joke things from my older sister, uh -huh. all about how you deal with loss of sight, loss of abilities, and aches and pains. I don't have any aches and pains. Oh. Oh, so, that's good for yeah, you. Yeah, I don't take any medications. I do take supplements along with my healthy diet. And I can still run, garden, snorkel, enjoy um, my social contacts. Okay. So life is just very full. Mm -hmm. I must admit, there are some senior moments. <laughs> Those things increase after 50 or so, but um, not that bad. Over the don't you see that it happens to everyone else? Yes. Okay. What would you consider as challenges? Challenges? I guess people's attitudes. If, uh, I'm proud of my age, but if they hear it, then they put me in a box. I'm an old lady. But I don't feel like an old lady. Um, is that something that you can share about how old you are? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm 73. Uh -huh. Mm, next February. I'll be 74. Yeah. Uh, so. well, that's uh, very hopeful and it gives me an inspiration that if uh, I could be 
light, your energy, and what you're doing right now at uh, 70, that would be so great. It's very fulfilling. Okay. Mm well, thank you very much. Let's see how it comes up. I will be asking you if there are other things that I would uh, think.